The Republican National Committee, which which has been shocking. I haven't watched it, but I have watched clips the following day and, and even during the night of on CNN and MSNBC. And I can't believe what I'm seeing. And, and I have to tell you, it just it just makes me furious that this is what the Republican Party has morphed into a, a, a fascist collection of, of Christian insane people white people who are determined to destroy the United States and replace it with a, or our system of government anyway, and replace it with sort of a fascistic um, religion-based madness, Christian religion-based madness. That's what these people are about. Mike Pence last night, I saw some of the clips of him. That man's face just makes me have to go to the bathroom. I mean, it really does. He gives me the runs. I, I can't think I have ever seen a face that looks so benignly horrifying with that little furrow between his uh, uh, eyebrows and that smarmy, sick smile. He looks like the type of person that could be talking about worshiping the Lord Jesus Christ while he dismembers a, a child. I don't think I've ever seen anyone as frightening. I mean, Trump, big deal. Trump, we know, is a sick bastard, a half-human. But Mike Pence comes across as a Christian. Hi. And that little head tilt thing that he does, is that supposed to connote sincerity, I guess? Or Christian love? Or something? You know what it brings up in me? Absolute goddamn panic. I just want to run. I want to take off after I, you know, use the bathroom. That's what this guy does to me. <laughs> but last night, the Christian Fascist Party used the third night of their convention to once again amplify and stitch together this madness with their warnings about violence and lawlessness under democratic leadership. This is the thing that another part of this that drives me insane. Are these people blind? Are they not able to hear? Have they not been paying attention to the criminality at the highest levels of the Trump entourage, the Trump inner circle? Are they not aware of how many people have pled guilty? How many people have been sentenced to prison time? How many people have been indicted? As far as violence is concerned, the violence Trump has done to this country in, in under four years is, is with, without, without parallel, without compare. There's never been a more destructive force in the Oval Office than this orange ape. So what is it that these people who who spoke last night and every night this week, you know, just giving Trump verbal blowjobs? I mean, I don't know how else to put it. That's exactly what it is. What is it that impels them or compels them to do that? Oh, my God. And so the, the the Republicans last night, every one of these slime balls who appeared, I don't care if he's black or white, I'd give a shit if it's man or woman, but they're all trying to capitalize on the worsening situation in Wisconsin in their effort to recapture the so-called moderate voters who just might be reluctant to give the orange ape four more years to completely destroy the country. So the speakers last night and the night before and the night before that and by God tonight will be again trying to inject fear and loathing. Oh, my God, look what's going on. It's just flat out rioting. Do they miss the point that the two people killed in Kenosha were killed by a 17 year old white boy who was running around the streets with a goddamn semi-automatic rifle shooting people? 
a, a white boy who had been in a, a, a police youth cadre of some sort. Do they miss that? They don't care. In the alternate reality, that boy was, oh, I don't know, influenced by Hollywood. There you go. Oh. The Republican doubles last night also made appeals to the so-called social conservatives. You know, the Nazis who want to stick their filthy noses into everybody's personal life. And they did that with attacks on abortion. And accusations that the Democrats and Joe Biden were, quote, Catholics in name only. Well, you filthy son of a bitch is you. You, you Protestants or Catholics, I don't know what you are. I know you're Christians. I can tell by the stench that comes through the television. The stench of death and the putrefaction of the word of a rabbi 2,000 years ago that you have totally slaughtered and left in the gutter to rot. That's what you people are doing. How can they not smell the stench also, truth seeker? I, I, can't, I can't figure that one out. I can't. Catholic in name only. Joe Biden? Good God. And they also intensified last night their effort to lift the apes standing among women. The whoremonger. The, 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 the guy who tells his buddy and it winds up on television. Yeah, you got to grab him by the pussy. They love it, especially if you're famous. Knock him around, slap him, rip him. You know, just. Jesus Christ. But there they were trying to boost Trump standing among women with, 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 with testimonials vouching for him as empathetic. What? And as a champion of women in the workplace. <sighs> and some of the speakers were, were women who worked for him. And his daughter-in-law, Lara Trump, the one married to the real, the real lacking in any kind of mental framework son, Eric, that one. And just hours after Governor Tony Evers of Wisconsin called in the National Guard to restore order in Kenosha, Wisconsin, where the cops shot and killed a black uh, or shot a black man this week, seven times in the back, while his three children were in the back seat of the SUV watching and listening. God damn. But anyway, just a few hours after the governor of Wisconsin, a Democrat, called the National Guard to restore order. All these Republicans led by this filthy, phony ass person who would urinate on the cross given uh, an order by Trump, Mike Pence. But they went after Biden for what they claimed was his tolerance of the vandalism that had grown out of racial justice protests. And once again, Pence, the bastard, said that the country would not be safe with Biden as president. This is what Pence said, quote, Last week, Joe Biden didn't say one word about the violence and chaos engulfing cities across this country. We will have law and order on the streets of this country for every American of every, don't gag, race and creed and color. Oh, Pence, you hypocritical prick. Oh, my God. And then Governor Kristi Noem of South Dakota. Oh, yeah, her. Who... I, I don't know what her fantasy date with Donald Trump consists of. I just know she has them. But she said that Seattle and Portland, Oregon and other cities 
using her words, run by Democrats, were being, her words again, overrun by violent mobs. Overrun by violent mobs? And she compared the violence to the lead up to the civil war in this country. And, and she said that people, quote, are left to fend for themselves, end quote. The lead up to the civil war. You crazy goddamn psycho bitch, you. How dare you? How dare you? Use something like the civil war that killed 700,000 people because white people of this country, it, to a large degree, said, no, I want to keep my half-human slaves. You crazy God, you're the governor of, of, of South Dakota, right? You don't have the sense evolution gave a sack full of dog shit. You really don't, Governor Gnome. Oh, see how, see, see how, <laughs> see how angry I get? Yeah. And then Christy Gnome had the guts or something to invoke young Abraham Lincoln claiming that he had been, quote, alarmed by the disregard for the rule of law throughout the country. He was concerned for, for the people that had seen their property destroyed, their families attacked, and their lives threatened or even taken away. Does that sound familiar? End quote. She's comparing the orange ape to Abraham Lincoln. Does Christy Nome not know who had their families attacked? Who had their property, if they owned any, destroyed? Who were enslaved? Who had no rights to do anything? And yet this crazy yes bitch turns that on its head and makes it sound as though Abraham Lincoln was very upset because the Negroes were rioting? What? Ugh. She tries to get us to believe that Lincoln was concerned for the people that had seen their property taken from them. You mean the dark-skinned human beings, you crazy woman? You crazy Christian, you? Yes, of course that's what you mean. Oh, my God. So the intense focus on what was going on in Kenosha when you get right down to it, it amounts to an acknowledgement by the Republicans that they have to reframe the election to make urban unrest the central theme and shift attention away from the deaths and illnesses of millions of people from COVID-19 and the coming deaths from millions of people from global warming. Oh, let's shift it to, to something that doesn't exist except in our alternate universe here. Hey, True Seekers, Mike Malloy here. While you're sheltering in place and practicing safe social behavior, probably catching up on the Malloy cast, remember, we have a new weekly program just for our patron supporters. There are other thank you gifts for your support. Remember, visit MikeMalloy.com and click on the big patron link on the main page. You can't miss it, and we can't do without you.